Hey guys, Sam here for Sam Does That. Uh, today we are going to cover something which I found really, really tricky to get my head around and seemed to fall across no end of difficult tutorials which were really long-winded. I'm going to try and explain delegates as quickly as I can and I'm going to try and run you through the way that I do it. So let's very, very quickly run this little thing that I've just, this little app I've just mocked up to make it very, very simple for you guys to understand. I'm going to run the app right now. Um, so the app is uh, very, very, it's just literally two view controllers. View controller one, we have a label here which says favorite cake goes here. And then uh, there's a button right here which says click for next, which is going to reveal our second view controller. So let's go ahead and click that. There's our second view controller. And right here we've got a gigantic text field and a button which says save. So obviously what I want to do here is type in anything. And my I ideally... What I'm going to type here is key line pi because when I hit save, I want this to get dismissed and I want my f I want it to show up exactly what I typed just here in my second view controller and pass that to the first view controller. Now this is quite difficult to understand and quite hard to explain so I'm going to do my very very best to do it um, and I'm going to give you an idea as to how I do it which I find very very simple. So um, I've set my view controllers up as you can see. I've done nothing uh, special except for add a target um, for my button which calls a selector uh, save text, uh, which is just that method on the second view controller, which is where we're going to be sending our message to our home view controller. So let's type that pseudo text first. Let's go comment. So here, send the message. We're going to want to send the message. We're going to want to send the text from the self dot text field that we've created. to the home view controller via method. So let's go ahead and mock that up. Doesn't necessarily have to be perfect, doesn't have to work. So let's go self.delegate because of course we're sending it to the delegate. The delegate in this case is our home view controller. Delegate is always the first one, uh, or at least it is in this case. Not always the first one, don't hold me to that. So self-delegate, send text to view controller. That's exactly what we're doing in this case. We're sending our text to the view controller and our text is going to be self.textField.text. So that's the value. I think it's .text or it's value or something like that. I think it's textField.text. So let's go with that for now. It doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. As long as we have the pseudocode down, it will make it a lot easier for us to follow along. So now that we've done that, let's hop over to our header by clicking on the little uh, kind of chunk up here and clicking on header. So let's go property non-atomic, weak, uh, because it's not sticking around, the delegate only stays for that, we only want it to stay for that one instance and then it can be uh, deallocated, uh, let's go non-atomic, weak, uh, id, and let's call it cake delegate, and call it delegate. So what I've just done right there is I've actually created the delegate right here, and that basically this these the the text in this little uh, in these little two angle brackets basically is the connector between the two view controllers. And it's very very important that the next that everything in these angle brackets match up between the two view controllers. Otherwise, your delegate won't work. So now that we've created our delegate property. Let's go ahead and actually create our delegate right here in the same header header file. So let's go protocol, just above the interface, right here above the interface, it's important, and we're gonna call it cake delegate. And the method, we've actually already entered in. If we actually flip back to our second view controller implementation, it's called send text to view controller because we've already created that. Yes, it was pseudocode, but it will still work. So let's create a void method, send text to view controller. Let's pass it and then a string, which is gonna be the string of text, which we're gonna to wanna to pass back to the home view controller. We're nearly there. Now, in order to actually have it so that it conforms to this delegate, so we have to go back to our home view controller or the one that's going to be receiving our message and call and import our second view controller. So let's go DG second view controller, which for some reason isn't also completing, but there you go. And then just after UI view controller, again, those angle brackets, and it's called cake delegate. And if you've done things right, cake delegate should come up as an auto kind of complete thingy, um, which will make things a little bit less confusing for you. So now that we've actually specified all of that, uh, we've sent this message. So we've said send text to view controller, and that's going to be performed on 
in the home view controller implementation. So let's go back over to our home view home view implementation and let's actually create that um, uh, let's actually create that method that we've just uh, defined. Now there's a little warning message here and as you can see it says send text to view controller in protocol not implemented which means that we're doing something right. It's after it's waiting for this view it's waiting for this protocol and it can't find the method that it requires. So let's go ahead and set it up by entering void send text view controller and a string string so let's go ahead and set our favorite cake label to the string so let's go self dot favorite cake label set text to string our final step to setting up our delegate after you've done all of that is to go to your home view controller and when you in initiate your second view controller just go to a line below it and go second VC set delegate and the ID cake, it will prompt you for an ID cake delegate. You're going to want to set that as self because, of course, we have conformed this to our cake delegate uh, delegate here. So now we run it. Let's give it a quick go. Just make sure it all works. And uh, keyline pie. Save. Keyline pie. And that's delegates in a nutshell. Not particularly easy to understand, and I completely understand why it's kind of difficult to grasp. Like I said, my uh, personal, from my personal experience, it's easiest to write pseudocode and code that doesn't work, that brings up a ton of errors before you actually get going, uh, because then you actually have something to work off. And also, never ever forget the set delegate property, because I always, always forget the set delegate uh, section. And if you forget that, then nothing will work. So uh, with that in mind, everything should be working and you should now have a pretty solid idea on how to work with delegates. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you uh, need any more help with anything else, I will be happy to help out. Just get in touch with me and uh, we can talk it out or figure it out. Just leave a comment or something. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Sam for Sam Does That. Uh, follow me for more tutorials and I'm also on Twitter. So, you know, do that. That's cool. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.